Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne and we are going to be doing a mod on the keypad and we're also going to do a mod on the radio for the Builder DeLorean model. Now for those of you who are astute out there, you will notice this keypad is absolutely decimated. Look at that, I've got burn marks, drill marks, glue all over the back. I made a right pig's ear of this. So believe me, if you want to do this, don't go in thinking that uh, it's going to go perfectly first time. I had to order another one, which is what I'm working on here because I made a pig's ear. But by doing that, I learned some valuable lessons about things you can and can't do. First off, optic fiber. Now I've chose to use one mil optic fiber. Look, I've got 100 mils of it here. 100 mils, 100 meters of one mil optic fiber here. Okay, uh, it's good stuff. It gives a nice good light. The only problem is it's not very flexible. So uh, you're going to have to really tie these things down and train the cables. And that can cause its own problems because if you bend it too far, it's going to snap. The other alternative is, do you remember these toys? This is half mil optic fiber. This is a lot better and it bends all over the place. It's brilliant. The trouble is because it's so tiny, uh, trying to get a light out of this. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Trying to get a light out of this is going to be really tiny light. So I prefer something a little bit more bigger and uh, impactful. So without further ado, the first thing you need to do is drill holes. Now uh, you should have a red a red um, light at the top, an amber light, a green light, and then like a select light, which is a white one. Perhaps it's better if I just show you that scene from Back to the Future. Okay, so you can see how that looks, uh, which means we've got to drill holes in this. Now, to drill a hole, <laughs> it's a nightmare. Now, I've heard uh, you can get a needle and you could put it uh, in a flame and then just sink the needle in, which is what I did to this one. It works perfectly and it goes in like butter, but that's about <laughs> all it does after that because the plastic melts either side, you're not going to get straight holes. If you leave your needle in too long, you're not going to get it back out again as the plastic condenses, so I really wouldn't go uh, down that route personally. I would use a one mil drill bit and get yourself one of these. Forget the drill, but you've got a drill stand there and a vise as well. Um, basically, I just picked that up today from Lidl for £10 and that was on offer. So uh, there you go, they're not expensive. Um, but without further ado then, let's get these holes drilled. Okay, after you've drilled the holes, you should have perfectly four lined up holes, just like you've got there. And uh, it's time to put the optic fiber in. I'm using the one mil stuff because the other stuff that I've got here is going to be far too thin. This is the 0.5 mil. This would be really good, as I mentioned earlier, uh, for creating flexibility for going around bends. Uh, but I want a brighter light, so that's why I'm using the more rigid stuff. Uh, because I'm doing that, I'm going to have to make a slight adjustment to the center console, which I'll show you in a minute. But all we're going to do now is just put all four of these um, optic fibers through the holes. Now, <clears throat> once they're through, you're going to need to leave a little bit out the other side. They, this one's quite tight because I drilled a one mil hole to a one mil uh, <laughs> optic fiber, which is quite funny. So, uh, but when it is in, that's better, you're just going to slide it down. But you are going to leave because this is the whole reason why I um, I kept uh, quite a lot of length on here. You want to keep about a, I don't know half a centimetre to a centimetre out that way. I'm going to clip these off with uh, nail clippers, believe it or not, afterwards. But I, when I glue these in so they don't fall out again, I want to make sure that they um, they are held in absolutely perfectly. So we'll uh, put the next one in. And uh, we just follow this all the way down uh, for all four. So uh, we'll come back to that when all four are in. So if you can see that, there you go. Look, all four of them are in. I've still got a little excess on there. Uh, but obviously, if I was to leave it that way, these will fall out on their own. We're going to need to glue these in. Now, uh, I've experimented with super glue and everything, but the best thing that you can use is a glue gun. So I'm going to get cracking on that, and we'll get this all glued in uh, so they don't go anywhere. Okay, when it comes to glue guns, I normally make an absolute mess, but I'm going to 
put some of this inside just like that nice big dollop okay the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to reinforce this bit with a little bit of insulating tape you could use some heat shrink tape uh, heat shrinking or um i suppose you could paint it as well but i want to use some tape it's uh, what i've got to hand i haven't got any uh, heat shrink uh, at all on there uh, and basically it's because this little bit of wire here or optic fiber is going to be um visible uh, you'll see what I mean when this goes actually on this unit here. It's going to be sitting around about here and uh, I was going to put it through the top but unfortunately uh, one mil uh, optic fiber isn't very flexible uh, so I can't do that. If I put that through there I guarantee it's going to break here. I know that because I've already tried it and uh, look at the state of that where I've been experimenting and playing and doing things and stuff like that. I know that's not going to work. Uh, so what I'm going to have to do is drill a hole in this, this plate here and pass it directly in there. Now you don't see this side of the unit anyway so when I've drilled a hole in that the optic fiber is going to come through there and then back round out of the unit just from this way here. So first things we'll do we'll put that to one side and we'll get some of this tape off. we don't need a lot of it um, just like that and uh, I'm just going to reinforce it on this side here just like so so round like that and again you're not really going to see this so you wouldn't really have to do this to be honest with you uh, the reason I'm doing it is because um, I'm a fussy sod <laughs> Um, if you wanted to, you can. You'd put a, a sharpie or a bit of paint there anyway, just to get that last little bit off as well. But uh, you know, I'm pretty happy with how that looks because uh, that's that. And obviously, these aren't going anywhere now. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole into this section here, and then we're going to feed that through. So we'll uh, get onto that now. Okay. So when it's all done, you uh, get all of these lovely little optic fibers coming out of here. Um, this is what it looks like on the unit here. And as you can see, they're all sticking out. And if you've noticed, I've also uh, put a little LED in for the radio as well, which is quite cool. Uh, just drilling a hole for all of these. So we've got five LED strips, which are going to be coming out here and going all the way over to whatever control panel or box I'm going to be putting these into. And I'll show you what they look like when they work. But the last thing we've got to do is uh, clip these off. And I just use your trusty nail clippers for these. Uh, these are straight edge ones, as you can see. They're not curved like these ones. These are good for cutting, but they're no good for, uh, obviously I want a straight edge. So all we do is we just go to wherever we want to get it and just clip it off. So we've got the LED in there still and uh, it's nice and flush. So I do the rest for these. I'll probably do all of these in one go actually. So let's get them to where I want it. There we go. All in one go. That's all of them done as well. So nice and flush. I'm guessing you guys want to see what it looks like with the lights on. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be attaching these uh, optic fibers to LEDs. But um, obviously I don't really want to do that now because there's going to be loads of other lights where I'm going to be putting optic fibers through the car that I want to connect it. But I know you guys want to see what all of these lights just here look like. So uh, what I'll do is I'll get these hooked up to some LEDs and put them on an Arduino board. Uh, I won't show you the sketch or anything like that because I'm going to do that on another video at another time. But it just gives you an idea of what this looks like. Uh, I'm going to use the Arduino board as well just to light up the time circuits there as well so you can see what that looks like in the dark so uh other than that let's see where we go so there you go as you can see the radio lights on we've got a red light a yellow light a green light and we've got the flashing white light that would normally come on when you select it like uh, we saw at the beginning of this video um but obviously that's really sketchy i mean uh, obviously when these are finished and all the bulbs are on then i'll connect them permanently to the bulbs but uh, at the moment uh, they are just connected, if you can have a look here, uh, just by masking tape on the, um, as you can see, they're just connected by masking tape on the bulbs. There you go. That is the mod done for the time circuits and the radio and the keypad.